Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, it's a mighty lieutenant of Kier at your service. Wait, wait. Something's wrong here. Where's my helmet? <laughs> uh, I have to rush a bit the again helmet at the of end. doom upon my head. <laughs> there. Thank you, my captain. <laughs> And yeah, welcome back to Doom Eternal, where last time we finished off the campaign and, well, put the Icon of Sin back in the dirt. So now we'll be getting started on the Ancient Gods DLC. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, again, I heard good about the first part, but less so about the second. But we'll see if that was just a bunch of bluster or just people, yeah, not knowing what they were talking about and such. Okay, new saves. Let's see. Uh, ta -da -ta. Yeah, we've seen this before. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, but, but hmm? is, most of the story on both are fine and the uh, gameplay as well, but I do think I know where most people may have dislike. But I'm not going to say which, that it would be spoiler. Okay. I think you will notice what people would have problem with when it arrives. Okay, I was thinking about playing on Hurt Me Plenty, like last time, but seeing as the little tag, but more demons because it's DLC, and the fact that we were starting to get some trouble towards the end, I'm thinking we go with I'm Too Young to Die. Yeah. Okay then. And apparently I just got a pop-up that my hard disk is starting to fill up, but over the side I see just... I still have 124 gigabytes of room left, so not sure why it's pro uh, complaining. Okay, here we go. The force of hell had descended on Earth and the Doomslayer returned in defense of mankind. The hell priests were cast down and the Slayer carried his vengeance to the heavens themselves to end the demonic invasion. There he challenged the Makers, Angel of Deceit, and defeated the ancient Khan who had led them astray. The conquest of Earth had been halted, but now a new threat had arisen. The demons that remain in Urdak have corrupted the Once Holy Realm and threatened to use the Higher Dimension as a new pathway for conquest. If they are not banished, all of existence is at risk. To stop them, the Slayer must now journey to find the Seraphim, a mysterious figure from his past whose whereabouts until now have remained unknown. Only he can guide the Slayer to the one being capable of sealing Urdak off, uh, back off from the demons once again. Hello. Okay, it's an Ark Carrier. I knew it was here. Sir! Weather's disrupting the signal, but we'll be able to teleport him onto the rig's main deck. Uh, Dr. Hayden. Ready to launch the package, sir. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> we cannot regain control of Erdak without the Seraphim's help. You broke the seal when you awakened the Icon of Sin in their world. The balance between their two dimensions has been broken with the demons now in control of Erdak. Portal ready in three, two... Okay, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> the death of the Khan Maker was a necessary step in saving Earth from the demon. But it came at a price. The UAC won't hand over the Seraphim without a fight. I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pre I pre keep pressing the swap button, but no. Yep. Okay. Oop, oop. Okay, immediately to the back of us. Help, come here, you. 
bloody hell. But yeah, it makes sense that once the demons could be used, take like Urdak, they saw they had portal te more new portal technology. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're starting off with a lot of stuff already. Get me out of... Yep. Okay. Yeah, we started with the same weapons as before. And from the looks of it, we have at least some of our... Upgrades. Yep. Complete miss. Upgraded to the full. Uh, not that one. We've oh, no, there it is. There we go, that'll do better. Doesn't look like we've kept all of our runes. Since they go out of that quite quickly. But they're just not equipped yet. Yep. There we go. Let's see, we need a blue key card to get in there. All right. I'm liking this area where we're, <laughs> we're fighting at it too. A lot different than what we'd seen. What? Well, hello, Glacier Boy, and what thank you mean? Hello! What does the gear helmet look like he has a disco ball show in his mouth? What? Uh, I'll check chat in a second. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see, anything we missed? No. Yes. Uh, yeah, hello Glacier Boy, hope you're doing well. Uh, da -da -da. I could Interesting me. Crystal ball. I, I see the crystal ball here. I, I think he means your beard, quote unquote. He mistake my daily beard with disco ball. That's new. Take a moment for me to uh, get used to everything again. Okay, they are really not intent on giving me any sort of timeout, huh? Okay, just blow half of it off in one shot. Okay, from my Glacier Boy, the visor is the disco ball and the green is the self contract is mouth. And I hope you you are also doing well, Helium. They're doing okay, yeah. Glitchy yep. boy, I've been having this helmet for all, almost every Doom stream now, where you only know loses it. <laughs> Apparently. Yep, there we go. Oh, good god. Good ancient god. Drop. Drop. No. I wonder if I And hello, please of over the 3,000! What a long time in the line. No fuel. Yeah, oh, oh, that's a new one. Okay. Oh, there's your boy. Hello, uh, please of over. Hi, how are you? We are very good here. At least I'm very good. Here it is. Uh, Dealing with anger management against demons, as you can see. 
Okay. Over here. Laser boy, just notice that it looks where when you are not lit up while it's speaking right here. Okay, I guess it looks like a disc ball on my head when I'm not speaking. <laughs> Let's see. Got oh, come on. Hey, from Facebook, no, from Pizzler. I am good today. It's, I'm good. It is my country's Independence Day. And it's currently very tired from celebrating, but just go to the tube and say hi. Okay, yeah. have fun with that. Yeah, it, yeah, I hope you had fun. I don't have a weird accent going on there when we're doing that. Okay, don't really pull you into it. If it's a UC. <laughs> Oh, come on, it just fell over dead because the combat was over? Okay. Alright. No. There. Okay. Hello. And goodbye. Anything over here? Okay, just leap back. Okay. Let's give this thing a bit of work. Okay. So lean. Okay. I'll take that. Okay, the level is looping back on itself a lot. But providing shortcuts that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it looks like this is, might be one of those few... Yeah, I think there might be more maps that you actually need to use this to bit more. Okay, can I get a bonk? Yes, I can. Okay, that's going to make finding them even harder since they sped up now. Ah, I might have to play with the bonk. Here. There we go. Okay. Nothing hidden. Weak point turret. The turret is a ranged ambient demon. Stand too close or have your reticle linger on it for too long and it hides. The weak point is, is its eye. Yeah, the eye is its weak point. Shoot it to do massive damage. Okay. I don't know if you want those. So we get the scope. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> Miniature Eye of Sauron. Okay, shoot the eye with the precision bolt or and baluster to do massive damage. If you get too close, we'll duck and hide. If you're aim long, okay. Invented by the Hell uh, Priest uh, Nylock centuries ago, turrets contain imprisoned lesser demons that serve as stationary guards for their dark masters. Taking the form of a single, uh, single unnatural eye and rising from their fell steel containers to fire on any intruders nearby. Turrets defend the spaces around them and previously served as a direct, a direct visual link for their Hell Priest creator. With Nylocks now dead by the Slayer's hand, the turrets are directionless and persist as undying traps that lash out with bursts of energy at anything that comes near. Okay. So the way from spy camera security with offensiveness until they became just traps. Yep. <laughs> How, how did you sneak up on me? There we go. I was a bit slow there. Oh dear. Right, this is gonna some ice cream. But yeah, I don't remember those eyeballs. You? Okay, once we find a moment of rest... 
I'll try and get a look if we can swap out some runes, maybe. Because it's clear that we have some equips. Ballasters will probably take care of those in one shot. Okay. That also works. Yeah, I think it was a good idea, but maybe the, the easiest difficulty. Near you. Completely missed that shot. Solar Herds. Here. Yeah, we definitely have that room that gives us speed boosts on the glory kill. And I find it a little bit disorientating. You actually survived that. Okay, this is going on a little bit overly long, if you ask me. Especially since now it's only father, it seems. That was the upgrade from the mastery that we can fire five at one or in one go without needing a reload on that. <laughs> okay, seriously, is, is it only just father now, or did I kill all the big ones first? Maybe what they're gonna do you have to surprise one. Uh, okay, that did not take it out in one shot.
Like seriously, is there something I'm missing? Okay, if that's going to be a frequent thing, then I can see why people don't like these DLCs as much, because that just felt like filler. Okay, how do we get in there? It's just locked. But so remember, you did take this, yes. Through, but for that, that, that felt way too like there were way too many of the little guys. And seriously, how do I get in here? True, you know, you know what, what the easy does, like it makes him attack less frequently, that's for sure. Yeah, hmm. okay, seriously, game. I'm not seeing any buttons or anything nearby. Clearly we need to go through those doors to get there. Since it's the only way in. But, oh, I see. So, vents. There we go. Okay, again now. Okay, we've had this a bit before, but the map makes it easy enough to spot now that we look at it, and there apparently there's an extra life over there. But I'd prefer it if they put the marker where the entrance is. Okay, things are getting worse with this storm, it seems. Yeah, that looks concerning. It also looks like the amount of armor we get from stuff has been upgraded. And, oh yeah, I guess... <laughs> That's a big storm coming up. Come here. Yeah, that must yes. have been a bit smooth for the fight. Okay, that's sealed. Okay, Super Shotgun is strong at all, but it kills the most enemies a bit too hard since it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't leave them for glory kills. So it is a bit of a risk and reward with using it. Yeah. No. Did they do that even uh, early before when we had been playing on the harder difficulty? Yeah. It oh. would destroy most of them. Yeah. Come here. Oops. 
Okay, so who you just passed in by you falling over? Oh, right, no, no, so not there. Oh, yeah, don't let the, your the first death be to the flying kill tomatoes. Hmm? I think I just insulted them badly, I'm gonna kill the tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, what are these fuck guys already? We just fought, we had one just before. I uh, probably missed that when I was uh, grabbing the ice cream or something. There we go. Bones here. Way. And it sounds like uh, Sammy's ego is starting to return. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. There's the lost souls. There we go. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to chainsaw something. Yeah. Uh, you will do. On it. Yep. Get out of the way, you. They're going to. They keep spawning these guys to ensure that you at least have a constant source of ammo. Okay. Yes. And yeah, since we kind of used. <laughs> since we used the crucible on the icon of sin, we don't have access to it anymore. Actually. Let's see. Suits. Runes. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's remove this one. Or this one. Uh, R. And then... Yep. Come on. Uh, okay. And uh, this is the... Okay, from further away. And speed boost. Let's put that away. And put that one in. Um, enemies killed by equipment or while on the influence of equipment will reduce the kill. Okay, that that would be really good, actually. Uh, let's unequip that one for that and put that one in. I'm not sure if we... if hmm, I'm guessing these are the same. I'm sure. But I don't remember this one. Because since we're... well... Since we're meant to kill them, this would help a real lot with, uh, like, this. And bonk. And another. Uh, also, I, I forget the specific counts, but... Actually, now I, now I think I remember it. Uh, let's see, we've done it now, like, four times, so I think we should be on 69 bonks total, because... The, we finished the campaign at uh, 65, uh, 65 bonks. That's what you get for saying the cursed number. 
calls it six to nine. Why six to nine? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's really not it's really not worth it to use the ballast on those things. Near you. Have a wish, boy. Nice. <laughs> and it makes 70, I think. Finally be out of the cursed number. Uh, uh. Wait, so that maybe may actually reach 100 bunks? Depends, 71. Okay, you're going to be a nuisance, you're going to get the chainsaw. Pardon? Oh, hello? Yeah, we're pardoned. Oh, we missed one of these, it seems. Uh, let's see. Book of the Seraphs, part two. The very first creations molded from the void in Urdak, Seraphs are bound to the Father's will. The angelic creatures helped build the Father's works, assisted his research, and once winged through creation to do the Father's bidding. After the Battle of Eisencast, the Father stripped them of their wings. In atonement, the Seraphs built the Luminarium for the Father on the oldest sliver of Urdak and took cool pride in building their marvels, including machines that could contain the terrible energies of the very essence of life. In order to prevent the Seraphs from seeking power, the Father ordered that they serve any who reached in the Luminarium. Their laws and codes would serve all who arrive equally and favor none. Okay. And where's... Oh, okay, there is the, the other page. Okay, we'll, we'll grab that. Once we get to the end and fast travel becomes available. Uh, ah, that. We're going that way. Looks like it. <laughs> um. And I'm guessing we're aiming for that. Uh, no. Uh, oh, that way. Oh, I, I'd actually noticed this, but I immediately forgot again, it seems. Yep, yep. Come on. Ew. So far, you're... You're not been dying into the environment yet, but uh, yeah, you're getting moved. Yep. Probably More the environment than the mobs. Yeah. Get back here, you. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Hm. Are those fish? No, those don't look like fishing ships to me. Okay, to prevent us from just walking off the edge, we're glued down while it's just moving back. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> just plain up. It has been a bit since we just needed to climb up somewhere. Ew. Hmm? Oh man, it's to let me allow you to become a dentist. Ooh. Neither interest nor skills to do that. Okay. Damn. That. There. Up, up. Okay. 
And one thing I'm also noticing in the difference between difficulty is that those armor bits give double now, because I'm pretty sure they, they gave five armor before. Get here. Oh, no, you fucking don't get out of my... Fuck all of you. Shut that ugly mug up. Okay. You, you did defeat him very easily there. You did, you did, you did, you did. Yeah, lower difficulty and such. Okay. Actually, yeah, yeah we were I think I just made the same mistake. Lower difficulty. Sounds. Hmm. So it could have been less of a pain now. Still a pain, but not as much of a pain, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, how the hell are we supposed to cover all of that distance? Well, if you give me English for this uh, moment, I think we can do the trebuchet. Oh, we just do that. You do? <laughs> okay, yeah, good thing we closed those off before. Okay, I'd say that was worth the use of that. And a bonk for 72, I think. It's going to be funny if I'm off with the counter. Or if I'm off compared to the counter. Well, off the sick off the platform again, apparently, as well. Yeah, I would hate to be on this uh, thing. Again, I, yeah, I hate hell? walking on uh, something that looks like this. You crating? Yeah. Like, imagine you to accidentally dropping your access card uh, down, down those. Okay. Book number three. Most favorite of all seraphs was Samurai Maker. Yeah, it was he who administered, you know, administrated the world, ad, yeah, administrated worlds, studied divine experiments, and reported progress in all creation. After much time, the father grew frustrated with his in, in own many divine errors, most vexing of all being Jackad, and his continued slide into discordance. The father declared he would withdraw from the physical realm to prevent Jackad's ever increasing power from someday shattering Urdak, and to stop uh, Davoth from absorbing the father's infinite powers. That he so coveted. So Samur took the father's life sphere to the Luminarium as he was bidden to do, and for many ages the makers and other supplicants came to the Luminarium to pray for intercession. It was in the age of Nunzia when Samur shatters the Kazardine er, uh, veil and stole the father's life sphere. Samur took the father's pure essence into the corrupted realms of Jakad and Jakad. From then on, only rumors of shadowy missions remained, along with whispers of his many comings and goings to the earthly realms. Okay. So a sort of a Lucifer situation, the favorite son or best son uh, betraying? Hmm. Okay, how am I supposed to reach that? Okay. Just can we reach? Okay. There we go. Three, seventy-four. I 
keep missing this stupid thing. Come here, you. Correct that ugly mug. <laughs> and that should be 75. Holy baloney. Oh, uh, hello, Baron. Okay, I'm a bit low on ammo on most everything, it seems. I'm out of ammo on that. Let me out. Okay. There go, rat. That didn't notice the jump out. Where's the carcass? <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Come here. you I hold the wrath of right and pain rain and pain rain of pain I meant <laughs> The new hunter just kamikaze us. There we go. Let's see, we got a new codex entry for it, it seems. Um, all of these we already know. Hmm. Cube ball, we haven't seen those since the, the cultist base. Doom Hunter, four abilities. Wait, is this something new on the first thing? Uh, UAC Atlantica facility. Okay. This enormous ocean based platform was known publicly as the, <clears throat> as the UAC's primary climate and environmental research station. Housing hundreds of scientists and engineers, the Atlantica produced uh, critical work for the human race during the earliest days of the worldwide energy crisis, buying Earth time before urgent energy was introduced to the masses. Hidden to all, even the workers atop the rig itself, was the existence of a second facility below, cloaked in the depths of an enormous trench. This concealed structure houses the original body of the Seraphim, stored here after he, was in, after he entered our dimension, and transferred his consciousness into a cloned body to move among humanity. All right, we can guess where that is going. Uh, let's see. From Glacier Kangur. Yep. <laughs> let's see. Blood punch deals major damage to the sleds. Use cell weapons to take down their shields temporarily, exposing the extra damage. Destroy the sled to permanently disable its shielding and lock on rocket attacks. Okay. Dash and double double jump. Okay. Anything new here? Doesn't look it. Okay. I think the blood punch bit might be new. Flare, sir. The seraphim's key is close. 
I'll mark it on your HUD. Yep. Part four. Let's see. Uh, okay, the con maker. Life spheres contain the memory, intelligence, will, and the essential nature of a being's consciousness. All of it contained by the mighty inventions of the seraphs. Because of this, when the first con maker died in the siege of Kazadur, uh, their life sphere was carried from the you know, field of battle to the luminarium for the seraphs to uh, reconstituate. When the con maker returned to lead a host of makers, their enemies fled before them in fright. Only the most powerful, godlike, indomitable minds can survive the incredible stresses of having their essence fused into a life sphere, and fewer still can bear the agony of corporeal resurrection. Okay. I'm guessing that might have something to do with how the uh, con maker went loopy. Yeah. Just o over time, their will and ability to resist degraded. Yeah, and she was supposed to do, supposed to have done that after a few thousand years, but instead extended to a few millennia, millions of years. There you are. I'll take that. And the bond for good measure. And from this boy, don't die on right here. I'm fine. <laughs> the Seraphim's chamber. Now we work to resurrect the only ones who can save this world and its people. You? The Seraphim's chamber key has been removed. The Slayer has the key. This facility will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, at least I'm not bothering like a half hour self-destruct. Uh, there goes the environmental research. Your end the environment. The Seraphim is the key to the human salvation. Hello. Probably used that too early, but I will. Here. And there we go. Ow. Right, you're looking at the ring. <clears throat> Don't die, no promises. You oh, Baron. Yep. 
hier. Ooh, big boy. Darkest around, let me go find that. Uh, there you are. There's another one somewhere. There they are. Now for the back. Back. Fucker. There's the carcass. There's the carcass. And there. Okay, now you. Diet Coke Cyber Demon. <laughs> Is that it? Anyone else? Okay, come on, where are you? There's still something here. There we go. Ooh. Here. Anyone up for some calamari? Oh, oh, hello, Slayer Gates are back. Now we just need to go find the key. Oh, oh. Okay, that was a lot of micro missiles. <laughs> Holy. 76. Ooh. All right. Okay, secret encounter ahead. Where could the Slayer key be, though? Order. Pardon? Hmm. Oh, the keys are right there next to it. And... Okay. So it wants us to... And I think I just lost audio for some reason. Yep. And this is time we can see anything we want to him. There we go. Welcome back. After that's happened twice now. Yeah, they happened once before Steam too. It hasn't messed with the mic. Yeah. So, 
Hopefully we may maybe fix the mic issue. Yeah, it, it it does look like that is over now. Uh, okay, I see. Okay, a bit stupid to put a turret in here. Hmm. Okay. Can I land? No. We need to use both dashes to get there. But if we can get onto the other side of railing here. Or we just slip by. Okay. I think this I think they made this a bit unnecessarily complex with on this one. Okay. There we go. Slayer key. Yeah, Slayer gate. Wait. Completing a Slayer gate will award a support rune. Okay, so no unmaker this time. Hmm. This Let's go take a look. Yeah, Slayer gates are optional intense encounters. What is a support room? Is it going to be just something that is constantly active or something? Hmm. Let's find out. Oh, the login buddies. Good, thank you. Okay. Trying to judge what we're facing. That was not the intended target with the neck of Ragnatron, but okay. Too early with that. Oh, no. Come on. I think that might be a lot more powerful than just the single shots, so I think I'll save the scope for the turrets and such and weak points, but beyond that I think whenever we're using the heavy rifle, we'll be doing it with the micro-missile barrage. <laughs> nope, no you don't. Hmm. 
Nope, oh, pinkies. Okay, this is going on for quite a bit. Oh, tyrant. There you are, big boy. Come here. Oh. Okay. Wrong one. And those will seem to be run first. I have a feeling he knows from experience that, that you need to do it more than once to knock them out. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 just, just, just straight out, actually, they thought it was AJ. Go to you and have found enough ammo and armor. Okay, not as hard as previously, but well, we are on a lower difficulty. Now, let's see. Support runes. Rune variants that have a unique slot. There are three support runes. Choose the support room that fits your playstyle. They are hidden in the world. Okay. Let's see. Double damage when your health is 75 or less. When a demon causes an extra life to activate, it can be killed within a short, oh, short time to get the extra life back. Okay. And destroying a weak point creates a congressive blast. Let's go with that one. So we, we're going for those pretty often. Okay, this is the rune tab of the dossier. You, you can view and equip both runes and support runes. Yep. And now we have an extra spot over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is nice. There. There you are. Oh, wait. You. Come here. You. Next target. There's the car. There's the carcass. And that'll probably help cl yeah, clear out the father. And all the zombies just drop over once all the actual threats are gone. 
Okay. That. Hello. Uh, dives. Okay. The dive suit allows the Slayer to breathe on the water, but the oxygen depletes over time. Okay. We didn't have that uh, the last time we needed to go swim, but I guess we're going a bit deeper than before. And probably... Hmm? One more extended time. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think those were cargo ships. Probably, Probably. supplies in uh, such a to UEC here. So they probably been abandoned. <laughs> Motherfucker. Just as we get through the retreats again. Come on. Okay. I'm not looking forward to whatever on the water section we're going to be doing. There. Okay, it actually does allow us to walk around now. Hmm. Okay. One. Two. Uh, Up. Down there. Loaded red knight. Okay, that must mean that there is something over this way. Other than me wasting shots. There. Uh, but he... Shut that up. Okay. <laughs> I keep missing my shots on that. Just about to shoot two demons at once. Which probably will be at quite a sight. Yeah, oh, fucking totems. Yeah, it's, it's mostly because of the buff stuff that I just 
wanted to lower the difficulty. Ah. There. I'm pretty sure what that mostly does is that it actually ups the difficulty by a stage or something. Because it just well, makes them so hyper aggressive all of a sudden. Yeah, and the stopping heat from the. Hey. Baron? Ooh, really? Yeah, those. Hellborn. the Fireborn uh, Barons are Nightmare Fuels. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure they could literally count as fuel. Oh no! <laughs> the Seraphim's body is in a secure location, a thousand feet below the main deck. I've marked the best access point. Also, I think I've realized now what this is. These are they, they're blood punch charges. So if we need to. If we're out of a charge, we can pick those up. Oh. This is a lot more useful on the ballista, I'd say. It basically works as the uh, sniper mode, so this, whatever that was again, with the gauze cannon. But with an ex extra explosion after. <laughs> That way is forward, so of course we're going to check the other direction. No other parts. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to like the next bit. Are we going to ride one of those things? Oh, yeah, I didn't quite literally ride. Yeah, I, I don't like deep sea stuff. Mostly because I just can't see what the hell is going on around. Okay, and what now? Yeah, get in there before the sharks. Yeah, I think the sharks yes, might regret gone. trying to go for the Slayer. Try to bite you. The Seraphim was the loyal aid to the Father. You and every human on this planet owe your reality to them. Cool slayers don't need to look at exploding mancubuses behind them. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yep. Thank you for waiting. Missed. At least I've got rid of the carcasses. <laughs> Battle of the laser pointers. <laughs> Hello? It's Captain McLeg. Oh, God. There we go, and I've lost count. You know, you've lost them and count them, aren't you? Yep, that's what I've been doing so far. Uh, that way. Place is going rapture. The Seraphim's chamber is close by. Oh, <laughs> useful. Uh, here. Nope. Hello, lads. Nice, nice roll to be under the CA. <laughs> I really don't remember those things. There. They lost, they lost 3,000 out to watch the Doom Games was true where it pressed out to laugh. The <laughs> has been in possession of the Seraphim since before your time. It is a relic from their past. The organization's most closely guarded secret. Totally not going to be a boss fight of some sort if we're getting these. Actually, we're, there's probably going to be a fight in this room specifically. Let me guess. Yep. Oh, hell. Oh. oh, two of you fuckers! Ooh! That's going to complicate things a bit. Oh, maybe not. That gets rid of the dogs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't arm wrestle with someone who has a blade attached to their arm. Yeah, a bloody heck. Oh, you just want to come in for desserts?
Air. Okay, there's something funny about just uh, endlessly firing little missiles like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> and goodbye. Missiles go brrrr. Right now. No, missiles don't go brrrr. Yeah, they go brrrr, then boom. And boom, and boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh no, damn you, Hill. Oh, right, that stone stuck in my brain again. <laughs> Your wit song. Boom, boom, boom. I would be in my room at one. <laughs> For the Vega Boys. Pretty yeah. sure that's a Dutch band, or was. Wait, what? I did not know this. I don't know that. I, many kids liked them as young, but when they grew up, I watched it on YouTube for the first time with the music official music video. Yeah, Shadow Shadow. <laughs> was not what a young kids report they meant with the other things in the song. And it was a song that actually came, it was one of the songs that ended up on being hit for kids CDs. Yep. Oh. I kind of wonder whoever, whatever company that makes the CDs reacted with that song, that song was probably with kids. Probably some like, oh, sweet music angels, if they only knew. This is again going on a bit long. I'm presuming that they're spawning so many father demons to ensure that you have fuel and such. Uh, fuel and ammo, but still, it's a bit over much with the, the father. Yeah, no, those, those keep the intention of it. They were still not okay. at any point. They really don't want you to get closer at the place. What is that big? Okay, it was just another bearer, not an arch bile or anything. Come here. There. Okay, micro missiles for big stuff, normal shots yep, for the small stuff. You can see just how many of these imps are running around while I'm trying to fight the Baron. But that means they're doing their job and distracting you. Tyrants. If those went into the wall. Oh, two of you. Uh oh. Come 
here. There we go. Okay. Totally not uh, a lie. And now they will fear you. We have been allies for some time now. I knew who you were the moment you set foot in our world. And who you could become to us. I brought you to the divinity machine and gave you your power. Where would all of this be now had I not had the foresight to create? You. Your gifts are owed to us now. Repay the Father for all he has granted us both by returning him to his throne. And then. He will save us all. Torrential pain, complete the UAC Atlantica facility. Okay. That went on for quite a, you know, some time, so I'm guessing since there are three support rooms, there's going to be three levels. You forgot, you forgot hmm? to return to that one of the codex spaces. Yeah, uh, yeah, but actually, it, it didn't have a pop up for fast travel, so I'm guessing they're not doing that for this. Hmm. Oh well. With these, typically the more interesting lore appears later on anyways. But yeah, I'll try to keep a better eye on mm, for th those. Dr. Hayden is the Seraphim. He's been with us the entire time. <laughs> I am sorry. There's no need you for... You need to see this because he's not well. Something is happening and nobody here knows what's wrong with him. Well, no, we don't know yet. <laughs> There's very, very... Oh. The father's life sphere sits atop the Ingmore Sanctum, located in the blood swamps of hell. My body is undergoing rapid transfiguration. It is why I need the father. Reach the tomb and acquire the father's life sphere. Bring him back into physical form. I will not be able to join you. Makers cannot set foot in the dark realm. I will be waiting for you at the sanctum. The Seraphim cannot retrieve the sphere. It's forbidden. I have the Blood Swamp's location online. And I'm liking this intern. Despite your transgressions, you are given the honor to serve the gods yet again. Oh, shut up, you, or before I shove your head up your own ass. Then shove it up there again. Okay. But yeah, that, that fully confirms that Hayden and this, you know, Samir are the same, but that still doesn't fully explain some things from uh, Doom from Doom 2016. Like maybe there, maybe there was a an error or something between the transference points because uh, we've never seen Hayden's physical form, but it was said actually this this would now e e maps. A, uh, he, his clone body got cancer. Yeah, that's. Uh, 
Uh, well, it still doesn't explain it. Well, actually, actually, if he was working towards the f completion of a, a prophecy of sorts, uh, actually, still now. Let's just go that while Hayden was in his uh, second in his second body, the the one that we've seen the most, that something went wrong in the transference or something to make him more of an asshole. <clears throat> and yeah, maybe he was influenced by hell as well. Yeah, I I, I should probably look up some fear videos. But a lot of things make sense, but also like as you said there. That don't fit. Like anything else about him fits and makes sense. Just except the rule. Why try to speak to about using hand energy to save Earth? Like that's the piece that doesn't fit. Hmm. Yeah. After we're done with this, I'll look up on TV tropes. It's, that's probably in the head scratcher section. With well. Head scratches as well for people who, for things that are, well, questionable, like why <laughs> there's just such a big difference. Like, my guess is that they didn't have the idea of Hayden as Samur uh, before they made this game. So they just had to retcon a bit, and it, yeah, it just doesn't fully fit in. <clears throat> Anyways, then, it took almost. Yeah, that took an over an hour on one level, huh? Let's see. The Armored Response Coalition has used the Ark Carrier as a mobile base since the beginning of Earth's invasion from Hell. The carrier was designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden himself after worldwide defense systems began to fail, and the Resistance leadership eventually became entirely localized aboard the ship as it traveled the globe attempting to stave off the forces of the Dark Realm. Though capable of long-range cannon bombardment and the launching of aircraft, the primary use of the ship was as a source of much-needed strategic intel for the Ark. Hmm. Anything we can glean from this? Okay, okay what was that sound for? Did I pick up something on accident? <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Second level. Hmm. With Samuel Hayden revealed as this mysterious seraphim, the Slayer journeys into Hell once more to seek the resting place of the Father's essence. Only the creator of all things can save Erdak and repel the hordes of Hell. The mire of the blood swamps is littered with the corpses of countless dead who have tried and failed to reach the peaks of Ingmore's sanctum where the father's life sphere lies. It's also where all of the uh, it's where also all of the uh, bodies from uh, <clears throat> from Argent Energy creation in hell were dumped. So there's going to be plenty here. I uh, see your mission objective states that you're going to destroy the sphere, not retrieve it. That is not, sir, what Dr. Hayden, the, uh, the Seraphim, has requested of us, uh, you. Let's see, the blood swamps. Was that a bit of fourth wall leaning? <laughs> the blood swamps stretch across miles of hell, a festering bog of disease and acidic rain. Towering above the mire, Ingmore's sanctum rises into the clouds, a solitary vision of hell's ancient past. Here the father decreed his wisdom and oversaw his works, and it is here that his life sphere is interred. The sanctum serves as a mausoleum of gods. The sanctity of the sphere is protected by the ancient ritual known as the Trial of Malagog. During the Unholy Crusade, night sentinels would journey alone into the swamps attempting to overcome the trial and reach the rumored resting place uh, of the great creator. None succeeded. Legends among the Argenti state that their spirits remain near the grounds of the trial, bound to it eternally, waiting to witness the one who will be granted passage. Okay. There we go. Okay, I thought so. These explode when we get near them. Okay. 
Going to keep an eye out for things and hello. So you're just having a staring contest. Let me resolve the problem. Oh dear. It's just weird to see plants in yeah, hell. There's vegetation around here. I'm going to guess that if we fall down, we get hurt. Ow, that's a big one. Okay. Did not expect like a super tentacle to pop up, but okay. I'm pretty sure that shot should have landed. And I don't know if the super shotgun is the best weapon for facing down these, but it seems to me to be at least. Extra spawns. That bear is an There we go. Okay, you kept me waiting, so we're getting cut in half. <laughs> okay. There. Uh, let's see, anything I missed? A support room thing over there? And a secret behind the wall there. Okay, let's go check this out first. Okay, it's behind a gate. Hmm. Wait. Ah, there we go. Hey, brute fool. Wolf. Right through the fourth wall. Hmm. That was easier than expect. I, I thought these were supposed to be locked behind the, the gates. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, we have everything unlocked now. Same here. Oh, on maker. Okay, that uses the same power or same the ammo type as the BFG. Uh. But what's the... How do we equip that? Like we can ex equip the BFG from here, but... Hmm. Oh, well. I guess it's just uh, assuming you unlocked it. As soon as you haven't, you can't use it. 
Uh, I'm guessing... I think it should be available, but it's just, we don't know the key to open it up or to bring it up. Uh, let's see. Ballista. Unmaker. A uniquely powerful weapon, the Unmaker is kept under lock and key inside the Fortress of Doom. Inspired by Sentinel weaponry, you know, weapon technology, this celestial firearm was created in Urdak by the, by the ingenious invention of the makers in themselves. Upon activation of the weapon shutter ports, uh, upon activation of the weapon shutter ports slide open, and the Unmaker immediately begins firing rapid-fire volleys of uncondensed tridirectional argent bolts. The destructive potential of this alien superweapon is rivaled only by the BFG. Okay. So it's less it's a less explosive version of the BFG. It's a rapid fire version of it. This is a machine gun. If I understand that right. Okay, there's the auto map. Hmm. Oop, there. Oh, book. Not going to miss those now. Okay, book of the Saros 5. Let's see. It came to be known by the Saros that the increasing failings of Jakkad troubled the father uh, as he looked upon its spreading tortures and horrors. It was the first realm he knowingly created, and it was still beloved by him. But he came to understand that his whisper of mortality to their long lo uh, to their long-lived souls drove them mad, and he owed the infection of jealousy in their hearts for the immortal in Ordak. Davot's grasp for, uh, for power bent the walls between realms. His growing hordes defeated many deputies and lesser gods the father created. As they were absorbed by Davot, <clears throat> or Davot, or however you're supposed to say it, his strength grew far beyond what the father placed in him. The father bid some more, his most trusted, to help the father in his final undertakings in the physical realm. The father would confront Davot in Jakkad, or Jakkad, or again, however, and after this, the father would withdraw from the physical realm. Samora would then be tasked with taking the father's life sphere to be stored safely in the Luminarium. Should the father perceive any rising dangers from Jakkad, uh, Samora would be called to bring the father's life sphere to a place that none could find it. Samora swore obedience, though he knew it would come at great cost, for the makers would hunt Samora as a heretic. Okay. Baron. <laughs> I just <laughs> okay, straight for the throat. Life. I'm guessing Jakarta is supposed to be what became hell. But I would ask a question of why would he hide the life sphere in hell? Okay. Yeah, it was one of their mushrooms. That's the key that opens the entrance to the father's tomb, which, according to our data, should be on the crest of a mountain just beyond this altar. That is the origin of the father's realm. Okay, very obvious arena. I 
I think we've hit 80 by now. Okay, no punchable sides. We are so going to have to fight this thing, don't we? Oh boy. Ladies, ladies, I'll push it both in the grave. Wait, what? <laughs> Shot at you. That way. There. Okay. But oh. Go about out. Okay, the air is toxic here or acidic. Take a direction, doggy. Maybe not fully worth it, but it keeps the freaking whip whiplashes in place. Yeah. We want to hit the arrow. Okay, man. for me, Mott. Okay, here we go again. Take my time with those, I will. Eh? But first, oh. I kind of gotta wonder how these things just manage to sneak up on me sometimes. <laughs> and again, they don't really have footsteps. We're never gonna never kind. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we lose health fast in the mist. How many more of these? For a second, I thought you were a new thing. No, just the same old stupid shield jackasses. That there's a bit of a trick you can do. Yep, too late. You recover too fast. But if you're quick enough with the draw there, or rather the quick swap, you can BFG them. I'm going to risk another shot of that though. Okay, that was one of the trials done. We're almost done. There we go. But it has to be one of them finished. Hello, what is that? Hmm. How do we get to you? Yeah, this is a big place. Hello? Stop. One of the freaking tentacles tried to nibble. What is... Okay. I was expecting it to be something simple. Let's see. Do I have to... Hmm. Was all of that just to get to this trial? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, then. Yeah, we'll have to finish somewhat soon. Hmm. Okay, a bit of platforming. And 
This has to be the least impressive bit of this. <laughs> there. Okay. Spirit? The spirit can possess demons, making them tougher. When the possessed demon is killed, the spirit becomes exposed, making it vulnerable to the plasma rifle's microwave beam mod. If the spirit is not killed quick, it will seek out a new host. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to be playing Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. dear. Ah, right, there, those fall away. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> This works. <laughs> I was honestly expecting to be able to stand on that. Okay, we got an explanation about spirits. So one is going to show up here. Oh, there you are. Okay, this is more like I can almost I can yeah. I can get this bit a bit more since it's more like uh yep. Wait. Didn't that look like a summoner from 2016? Yeah. These are more like a uh, unit specific buffs instead of just the entire stupid totem. I'd say those tower turrets are more annoying than anything else. Can we be done with this first trial now, finally? No, apparently not. Oh, hello, big boys. After this fight, we'll have to call it, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting sleepy. Because I didn't wake up a bit too early again today. And there's the timer That's going off. Why is that so loud? Went to we had a few days ago in a row. I slept better than you don't wake too early at all. I don't know if I'm uh, unconsciously because the birds or not. Because, yeah, the birds stay quiet in the storms. I should probably try and save that some. In case of spirits. That was probably one of the shortest ones. Yep. <laughs> Except my imp heads.
Oh, hello. Yeah, that, that's a summoner. Uh, a little curious reuse of the summoner. Yeah, they, they've already got the summoning units with the uh, arch vial, so there's no need for a second one. Now, speaking of... Back here, you. No. Okay, it got at least one round of summons off. Why are they still buffed? I, I didn't... Uh, because there's another fucking one. Of course. Spectre. I was going for the blood punch, but that also works. I can definitely tell if we'd gone with uh, Hurt Me Plenty as difficulty, we would have been having quite some difficulty with these fights. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> good idea to drop it down some. Oof. And that was the first trial. Oh, hello. May you serve the makers in all their glory. Uh, you haven't been kept up to date, have indicate you? indicate that hundreds of warriors have died trying to do this just to meet the father. And checkpoint reached. Okay, perfect. All right then. Uh, I'm a bit 50-50 on it. Like it's it's pulled some bullshit things, and I was like sticking us in a room with a tyrant. So on the higher difficulties, that definitely would have been a point where I got my head stomped in by it. But yeah, yeah overall, <laughs> I'm liking it so far. Like again, there. There is a bit of, bit of a disconnect between Samuel Hayden 2016 and Samuel Hayden the Seraphim. But I'll just leave that up to, well, then I'm not having planned ahead on the writing too much. <clears throat> okay. Well, they did, but they did a sloppy job of it. Either way, we're heading out and we're going to look for someone to raid. So let me change the screen share. And let's have a look. Okay, a lot of people online, a hell of a lot of people, so I'm going to narrow it down some. We have Side of the Lish with Final Fantasy V. Uh, Cora Dust is playing Bindi in the Ink Machine. Uh, Karen and I, or at least a lot of people, are playing Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, anyone you see along here that you'd like to. Uh, totally, are we. Let's. Let me double check. Yeah, it is muted. Let's see. We'd, saw, we'd seen a bit about this. Uh, 
Hmm. Wild or myth? Okay. Oh yeah, have you seen this uh, um, uh, game before? Thank you. So yeah, going again. Side of the list with Final Fantasy V. Then we have Gram the Warp with Walkabout Mini Golf. They're probably playing that with some friends just for this <laughs> getting in, yep, for getting in each other's way with it. Oh, oh it's a VR golf game. Okay. Yeah, that might be a bit almost soon. all v modern golf games became bridge games. I wouldn't put it that way, but yeah, <laughs> just the new just being a nuisance to your friend is like half the fun with these games, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, Empathize has taken on a new name. Chubber's the Moon Seal. Okay. They're playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, like I said, Corridust is playing Bendy and the Ink Machine. And Smoops Omnans is yet again playing Product Zomboid. It seems to be that they're streaming that most of all uh, recently. And it looks like Vam is not having any help. He's not getting any uh, progress with his uh, golfing. And <laughs> let's see. Last but not least, we have Touch Scaly Tail with Remnant 2. Any of those sound interesting or anyone else here look interesting to, to rate at the moment? And the ink machine sounds tempting. Okay. Um, there, Cora Dust. Okay. Can okay, they've, they're definitely a chapter or two in at least because I don't recognize this from the first chapter at least. Okay, Cora Dust, it is then. Yep. Okay, then we head on over to our place slash raid and paste. But before we start out, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy. Thank you, Pizza. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching today's madness. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to guess that they're going to throw some bullshit moments at us, but it should be a lot more doable on the lowest difficulty. So, yeah, we'll see how that, that all goes. When we return, well, Thursday. Uh, no multiplayer thing tomorrow, because tomorrow is the last day. It's the last time that I have to fill in for some people for the attendance keeping with this women group. Uh, but next week, maybe we can continue with Borderlands. <clears throat> Hopefully. And well, we have our usuals in the weekends for now. Evo Land and Dave the Diver. And well, if anything goes wrong with, <laughs> if anything goes wrong with Doom Eternal, we can back up to Dave the Diver. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for now, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. I'll just need to start the raid first, of course. <laughs> and uh, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and sleep well. Uh, push out for. Demon Seagulls.